Okay, this is Andre over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough video of what I've done with this job. This job had a ladder coming all the way from the top down. Okay, this is the um, uh, West Lafayette job. He had this ladder coming all the way down so that the people from the third floor can go down all the way. Okay, but um, they were, you know, concerned about break, breaking in, so they, they uh, opted to uh, swap this ladder to a fold-out one, and I'll show you the fold-out ladder or retractable ladder in, in a little bit. Um, so what what we did first, uh, because uh, the original the original landing used to end over here at this point, you know, because this pe these people from this side would come down all the way down. And uh, there was a small little rail here. Does see, you see the evidence of cut? There was a small little rail this way with an end over here in this wall. And then you know, it used to be a small plat. Used to have a small platform over here, okay? Because the, the people from the third floor did not need it because they had they had to just come down all the way to the, the ground, right? Uh, but because of the, the breaking concern, this is a sorority house. Um, they, uh, I had to make it so the people from the third floor can still uh, exit. You know, can see, can still escape from a fire, and not, uh, <coughs> and uh, and at the same time make it make it so uh, uh, this place is, uh, won't be so easy to break in, right? Um, that's why it was we uh, we installed this platform here, this landing. It's a brand new landing, brand new landing addition that we put in this house. Okay, all the the landing, these rails are brand new that we put in. We added to it. We cut off the old road rail, as I said before. Okay, we bring first. Uh, we, we reinforce some of the welder well, connections on all those frames. We saved it, and we uh, what we did was we cut the rungs in order to prevent the break in. We cut the rungs of the old ladder. See how this ladder, these rungs go down like that, and uh, they stop right there. See, and all you see is the little stubbies of the rungs because we cut all of them all the way down, so there's no breaking. Okay, so <coughs> what's gonna happen now is the people from the third floor is gonna come down to this floor and and step on the new landing, which is a lot safer than it was before. Cause before they had to come down a whole. <coughs> A whole, let's say, um, exactly 20 feet, exactly from exactly exactly 20 feet from the from that roof to the ground. So that's a huge distance to come down without a cage, protected cage, and everything. Right well, now they have this nice rail here to come come down to. That's only uh, eight feet high now. You know, instead of 20 feet, instead of 20 20 22 feet. Um, and when they come down, they can just like the people from this level, the second level, they can come here and and uh, uh, pull the, pull this pin and uh, and uh, you know uh, this this fold out ladder is gonna open into a ladder. Right now it looks like a uh, downpipe, right? Of a gutter. It's gonna open to a ladder, and then they can both uh, egress from here. They can they don't have to wait up here for a fireman or whatever. They all they all can come down the same ladder okay this ladder uh, th this ladder I made this ladder a little short okay the usual design of for this ladder is to extend three and a half feet above this which is the height of a rail see the height of a, height of a rail more or less it's a little short like five inches shorter <coughs> but uh, I built this ladder a little short for this for this size because I didn't know the exact size of this of uh, the exact height of this platform uh, so I had to extend uh, a little addition here up, and I had to create uh, another locking mechanism because the um, this bracket, this uh, this bracket over here, which usually doubles as a locking mechanism, uh, is supposed to stay uh, more or less this height, three feet above the the, the grating. You know the the huge black uh, ladder bracket over there track. Okay, it's supposed to stay uh, 36 inches high from the uh, the landing, and it usually doubles as a as a locking mechanism. We're gonna take this here. I don't think it's gonna fall. She's a little stuck over there. But um, 
So if this thing was on the right height, I would just drill a hole here in the middle. Same same thing, same as I did there. Once, once it's closed, and then I just pull, uh, you know. And then from there, I, I use I uh, build my hole, the the remain the re, uh, the remaining components of my locking mechanism, which is hold on a second, which is this here, which is the which is the little eye bolt for the hook that I'm gonna have. Let me see if I can find it here. The eye hook. See? The little eye hook that's gonna get a so it's gonna get a cable from here. Sometimes I put a, another eye bolt here but it's just a waste of uh, hardware. I just drill a hole here, a 3 8 half inch hole and put a cable, put the cable through with the cable, uh, with those cable locks, right? It doesn't have to be a heavy duty cable, you know, uh, 2 16 stops or 1 8, it doesn't have to be a heavy duty cable at all. I like to use coated cable so that way it doesn't rust. I have uh, some coated cable here on the ground, but it's uh, a little thick, but I'm still going to be able to use it. Uh, these uh, I forget I forget the name of these things. Uh, these are snap snap hooks. It's called these snap hooks that I uh, that I uh, got over here. I usually I usually uh, remove the uh, the snapping part of it. You know the little springs the spring action here because I don't want it to rust over time, and then people won't be able to because you know it works good even though this is clearly stainless stainless steel. See stainless steel versus the uh, the zinc. The, the zinc plated stuff even though this is stainless steel uh, eventually it will rust uh, so I don't want it like 10 years 15 years from now uh, for the, uh, uh, you know, the spring the spring thing, the spring action thing here to uh, be rusted and then people won't be able to pull this pin and uh, escape you know, it will kind of suck so I want this thing to be operational uh, you know, for a long time, you know what I mean because you know a fire might not happen for a long time or might never happen hopefully it'll never happen but you know it may take years you know, they, you know and I want them to be able to call this on this mechanism you know what I mean uh, so like I said I made this thing too short and for that I had to uh, create a whole locking mechanism here it's, uh, it's the old style like locking mechanism which is usually like a U uh, like a U uh, a flat bent into a U kind of thing, six inches deep at least, minimum, all right, <coughs> I I didn't have the right tools to bend it into a U, so what I did is I bend one into an L, and then I use a, just a flat piece, see I bought it a flat, and that's it, okay, so, you know, there was addition involved, there was uh, major fabrication, uh, the, the bracket, you know, as I said, this whole frame uh, the saw outside frame didn't exist you know because that's for the people from the last the, the, the third floor to come down safely into this and egress from uh, just like the people uh, egress uh, e uh, um, escape to the same um, to the same place as the uh, as the people from the second floor here from this door um, so so we got a brand new bracket, uh, brand new bracket there, a brand new bracket there. Now the reason why I, the reason why we uh, we cut the rungs, the reason why we cut the rungs in the uh, in the ladder, uh, instead of just uh, you know just cutting the ladder itself, you know what I mean, and then just using these brackets to the wall, is because uh, you know we we wanted to utilize the. The, the ladders because the ladders doubled as a post kind of thing you know because see the other ladder goes down all the way to the ground right and it is actually cemented at the uh, you know at the very bottom it's cemented down to the ground so it's a <coughs> it's a ladder slash post it's doubled is doubling as a post so we wanted to take advantage of that because uh, otherwise we'd have to deal with through bolting right because this this platform is not through bolting the only post we have here, uh, the only structurally sound thing we have is the ladder. That's why we, instead of cutting the, the ladder all together beyond that point there, 
uh, we we opted to just cutting the rungs and leaving the the, the post of the lattice, uh, the side of the lattice, because of that situation. You know, the, the there's no there's no through bolts there. There's only leg screws to the wall, so we had to make it structurally sound. We don't want this to pull from the wall. So all of this was thought of, uh, was uh, was thought of. Uh, was thought through, right? Uh, and uh, taken into account in, uh, in the fabrication of this uh, addition and the uh, and the installation of this new ladder. Okay, so this is under five skip services. This is the walkthrough video of the of what I done in, in Lafayette, Indiana.